calculate the number of moles from milliliters. So this can be done in two ways depending on what type of substance you have. So for solutions, we can simply use the equation where concentration is equal to number of moles over volume and rearrange it to solve for moles. And for gases, like ideal gases, we can just use the equation PV is equal to nRT. So if we had the volume of a gas and basically all of the other variables, we could potentially solve for the number of moles as well. Okay, so the junior tutor said, answer depends on what other information is given. So if we had a solution, we can use its molarity, also known as concentration, uh, by manipulating it, so multiplying by the volume. If we are given a gas, we can use the ideal gas equation shown in equation 3. So they also have uh, a scenario if we are given the density as well. So if we know that, that density equals mass over volume, we can use the molar mass of a substance to relate the mass. Okay, so if we are given density, mass, and volume, and we also know the molar mass, then we could also potentially calculate the number of moles just by manipulating some equations as well. So that's an interesting take. So the solution is correct. So if you enjoyed today's Q&A and you'd like to be notified of when we do this next, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell below. Uh, if you enjoyed today's give video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and a comment. And don't forget to share with your friends and classmates if they needed any help with chemistry. This has been Donna from One Class, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.